Hello everyone, I am Dickman, and this is Day Hulk. Hello. And we invite you to join us on our adventures into the minds of some of the internet's biggest weirdos. <laughs> anyway, so, hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dick Coughlin, I am Dick Man, and I am joined as ever by Danny They Hulk. That's me. Say hello. That's hello. you, right, okay, right. And this <laughs> is and this this is our this is our podcast where Danny and myself will uh we we read random shit that we found on the website scribed and uh posted by complete and utter losers who think they can teach us everything we need to know about sex and life and everything and anything in between. So today we've got the uh <clears throat> what are we looking at today? We're gonna be looking at uh okay, the one we we've got now, this is um this is an interesting one. Now, this is a, a bit more in depth. This was uh, posted on to uh, Scribed uh, by some user who goes by the name Jackson dot Lin eighty four. But I don't think that's got him in it. And the the, uh, the document is called Your Own Wingman Report Four. Um, now, reports one, two, and three cannot be found. <laughs> there is a link to a website in the PDF document, and my computer literally. Just went like big red X's, skull and crossbones. Don't go onto this site. Fucking run, run. <laughs> so I don't know what you can probably go and if you if you if you've got like a laptop, you don't care about losing. But um, so this one is a your your own wingman, and uh, which kind of sounds a, a little bit self defeating, isn't it? <laughs> isn't that like how like your own wingman? It's um sounds pretty lonely. It just doesn't. It yeah, I mean. Unless he's like some geezer that goes there with like a sort of mannequin, like, <laughs> and, 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 or a ventriloquist dummy. My very like, own no, wingman. I, I, I wonder if anyone's ever tried. Oh, someone must have tried <laughs> chatting someone up with a ventriloquist dummy. But anyway, yeah, make a deal now this like geezer pick up lines to the girl. I'm sure that works. Yeah, exactly, exactly. You know, and, and you, you could do loads of jokes about your lips not moving. Oh, it's, it's all, it's all there. And also because it's a because it's a ventriloquist dummy, you could get the dummy to say things. The, you know, right. quite rude that you wouldn't say because you can because people will uh, you know people will go for that you know <laughs> anyway these are, oh, anyway sorry we're giving away these are our useful just giving away how useless we are uh, uh you know advice for uh for single people but this one is called your own wingman now and as you as you'll be able to see a link below to the actual document you can read along with us at home you'll see this is quite serious this is um uh, yeah, he's taking this very seriously. It's uh, you know the, the font is red or black, uh, all over the place. The th the front page, it uh, it says here, uh, warning. The authors of this report swear on oath, underlined and in red, <laughs> um, which I don't think is legally binding. Um, and it, isn't it swear under oath? <laughs> it's not on oath, is you it? You could swear an oath. Yeah, I mean, he could zoom, he could roll up a copy of the Beano and shove it up his arse for all like it. It's of no fucking. It doesn't really matter. But swear on oath that the information provided in this report is one hundred percent lawful and not illegal. Red <laughs> underline. Lawful and not illegal. In case you didn't get now, it. Now that sound. Yeah, well, it sounds a bit like Lady Duff protests too much, that, <laughs> doesn't it? Yeah. I promise it's, it's, it's totally lawful. It's hundred percent not illegal. You will not go to prison for this. <laughs> it's like this is like this is not illegal in the Philippines. Okay, now <laughs> anyway, so it then says underneath that side effects of excessive usage um, of this, presumably of the lessons we're getting, may result in one inability to decide which girl to take out. <laughs> You've already got that problem already. The inability to decide because there's none there. Um, number two, the inability to decide what tactics to employ. Well, I don't want the okay. inability to do that. <clears throat> Isn't that the wrong word? It's like saying you you won't saying I won't have uh, the inability to decide what tactics to use and what girl to pick means I won't be able to. I mean, that seems like, pretty know. useless if you can't. In, you like, well, I mean, to be fair, I wasn't like... expecting much based on based on what we've had so far. 
on, on this show. I wasn't expecting great things a, any either way. But number With three, all the fonts and all the colors and the borders and everything. But it's not all the cards. It's just black, red, and white. You know? and, and the white's only there because of the paper. It's just black and red, in it? You know, yeah. That's it, really. I mean, to be fair, he's like... Uh, and actually, to be fair, he's quite consistent with font size here. Normally, you get these fuckers who just... They, they've got a different... They, they've, they write half of it in windings. You know what I mean? True. <laughs> and number three, side effect, sudden increase in ability to... Ch- in in. A b- inability, not yeah, inability, not inability, inability to charm women. Sudden <laughs> increase in a, the ability to charm women. And it says underneath in a random weird rectangular box <laughs> thing, it says use at your own risk and discretion. Um, then it says underneath all attempts to quote the original authors have been made. I am not liable for any copyright infringement. I would be, I would fucking kill myself and change or change my name before I sued this guy <laughs> for fucking copyright. The idea that something I've written could be stolen. Um, yes, uh, sign up to the mailing list for free. You can't sign up to the mailing list because it will just give your computer Ebola. So, <laughs> page one. Like I said, we haven't. He, said, he starts off. Page one is approaching with a wingman right now. Um, to, now, Top Gun. This is not. Uh, this is. Um, but he <laughs> says, there, so you learned. You learned about the importance of having inner game from the previous report. But we didn't. Mm-hmm. Like, but we'll 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 we'll, we'll get by. Assuming I think did. we'll. Fu- and I like that he's put the previous report in parentheses. Report number three, <laughs> as if we didn't know. What came before four? You know, um, now you need to know how to get the girl you want to make her girlfriend. How the hell does it take to part four? The, what did what is in? What could he have possibly been waffling on about for three whole fucking reports? These aren't chapters. He's just practicing. You know. But, all, but the first all step what? is you I mean, talk this, to that's... the mirror and you pretend it's a girl. Yes, but I'm always going to win then, isn't I? Because I'm going to... You, know, <laughs> you just end up fucking yourself every time. Uh, yeah, well, there you go. That's the, um, that's the, that's the, it, this, geezer, this geezer's got one of those silicon <clears throat> fucking sex dolls. He came home one day and it's silicon boyfriend was shagging him on the bed. Well, but, but, um, you must be... Okay, the next Okay, next bit. This is in block, uh, bold writing. You must be able to approach... Or meet her to get a girlfriend. Right now, that's a. That, <laughs> I did suspect that that might be the case. That I might have to actually be within proximity of a woman to get her. Otherwise, there you might know, be interaction. The lasso involved. wouldn't work. Okay, so there might be some fucking yeah yeah. Um, <laughs> this does not mean you always have to go out of your way to meet strangers. Okay, um, what are they going to come round here? Then just like turn up <laughs> randomly. You could you can pick up women you know already. Oh, can I? Wow! <laughs> if they're light, I'm learning enough. so much stuff. Yeah, I'm or not, if you're strong. Well, funny enough. this isn't for a guy. I can't. This is, I can this, pick up these, tons these are guys. Of I've got a funny thing. The, the guys who this is for these are these aren't just in the friend zone. They're mayor of the friend zone. <laughs> they're fucking emperor for life of the fucking you know they're like the welcome the committee oh welcome to the friend zone i've been here uh, yeah they, they can't leave they fish they've been there so long they officially can't leave they've been forced to stay there like that they're like a but that baby in outer <laughs> space in 2001 space odyssey um they're not welcome allowed to, to the fucking friend zone. you can you can pick up women you already know they may be in your class or someone i think I, I, when he said class i thought he meant class as in quality right. like not actually I, he means cl- class or someone who you work with i know <laughs> I, I i understand what women i know means like i don't need him to sort of like what could he possibly this is what i mean about these people it's already we embarrassing don't enough mom. we mean people maybe yeah. who are in your life well he, oh, you say, he, he doesn't say you don't need your mum he just yeah. says i mean you know i mean if, if this stuff is so already. if these are that good if these are that good that they work on your mum <laughs> then surely that's just that just you know that's too dangerous. these are so good your mum will check you you know that's a good endorsement i oh, think that's, God. those are chat right. <laughs> those are chat up lines you uh, just you know just don't use them uh Foolishly, okay. If you don't know anyone, <laughs> if you don't know anyone, if you don't know anyone that you may be interested in, this means sure enough you might need to go out and approach some women. 
Just, I don't know any people. This I'll is what I love about the... And just walk up to some. But this is what I love about these things, is they, every one of them, is just, there's so much unnecessary crap. And it's like, <laughs> it takes them four paragraphs to say something that they could have written up, said in a sentence. You know, it's it's ridiculous. Trust me, even now, I still feel daunted when I need to go up and talk to an attractive stranger. But it is much easier with a wingman. Uh, exclamation mark. There are here we go again. Now this there are various issues you need to understand during <clears throat> the approach. So this is during the approach. Number one, the opener. Right. So what you're going to say. Uh, number two, the location of the approach. Parentheses whether it's in public during the day or in a club. I know what the fucking hell scenery is, mate. I don't need this. I know. I know. Look, one thing that I am known. For, one thing that I am known for around it, one thing that Dick, you know, you have to ask anyone, Dick Coughlin knows when he's outside or when he isn't. <laughs> you know, I know, I know what time of day it is. If it's not, I can find it out very quickly on my own. I know what, if I'm in a building, I know why I'm there. Like, this is not like, you know, <laughs> whether or not she is alone or with threat or with friends, also known as obstacles. <laughs> Great. Make sure that you also. Um, why? Find a person who has no friends. Yeah, well, no, that's this is I'm like that's, that's the first. So, but 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 why would they be obstacle obstacles? Because Maybe. they they would be trying to stop you. But why would they possibly do that? You know, could you know, and uh, because you know, because you, you know, you're oh, it's old old rapey Thompson over there. Yeah, mm-hmm. um, what what to what to say once you approach her? Isn't that the opener? See again, mm-hmm. they oh, these fuckers cannot write a list. Longer than four fucking things before they start repeating themselves. <laughs> what to say to get her to? What to say to get her to find you interesting? <laughs> and how to get her contact details? Surely the answer to that last one is ask, right? <laughs> and if she says gives them to you, that, what, what do you mean? How to get them? You know, like, how you else gotta, would you like, possibly you gotta find them yourself? Obviously. You got you got to do a fucking you got to do a Google like a face take a reading. picture of a subtly yeah run it through you know you know ask get your, to, get your boy. boys on it yeah ask a yeah well this is probably you know um, I I know everyone out there is one not everyone mate you don't know there's <laughs> probably it's me Danny and <laughs> maybe a couple of other people I'm I mean wondering. what was the rate what rating did this get this got okay this is a two and a half, two thousand. 100 views this this document and it's uh got no thumbs up or thumbs down <laughs> so like just make of that what you will we cannot we cannot <laughs> judge but, um, <laughs> nah <laughs> well we don't know well let's not let's let's yeah you know, you know give them don't you know we were remember the last I time remember the whole fucking right now <laughs> Remember the whole remember the whole fiasco we went through with the one we thought it was a we thought it was a bloke and then we thought it was a a, a gay bloke and then yeah, we thought it was a woman and then we thought you know loop. I was being so heterosexual yeah yeah exactly so and if, and we learnt from we learnt from that was like mm-hmm. you know don't don't be I mean obviously it is but it's let's like, let's just try and keep an open mind I know that everyone out there is wondering what is the best line to say as an opener so what so what one do I use none. Brilliant. This is great. He's going to use mime, apparently. Um, in fact, I find I am the most successful when I say nothing at all. That's literally what he puts. It. I'm the most successful when I say nothing at all. Brilliant. Right. OK. How do I do this? Well, how do you not talk? I can handle that one. You know, um, how do I how do I do this? I use a wingman. We know that we you this is the fucking whole title of this pissing thing. I we feel know like you he's use a fucking to advertise wing- a service to me. Introducing And a also wingman. why does he have to put does he have to put does he have to put an exclamation mark after wingman every time? Wingman. Uh, uh, normally the wingman Normally, the wingman will go, wingman! Um, wingman! He's a wingman! <laughs> wingman, wingman. Um, anyway, um, normally, the wingman will go and do the approaches on my behalf, and I will act as if I am shy and embarrassed. But that is all! This is in bold. 
I act shy when I am not. Yes, that's what <laughs> acting is. Mate. Step if there's one, one thing I can give this guy credit, uh, to be fair, I think if there's one thing, to be fair to him, if there's one thing I, we can say of him so far, he's got no shame. So, mm-hmm. yes, I'm acting shy, but I'm not. If you have good inner game and you will learn to develop this in time, I look at this, it's like Mr. Miyagi, <laughs> you know, you'll learn to. <laughs> yeah. You know, you, even, though the, even though the girl would have initially thought you were a wimp, will realise that, in fact, you are very confident in yourself. What is what is the exact things <laughs> I... What is, this things I believe? What are the exact things I say things to give... Exactly? What, what is this exact... What is this things exactly I give to her <laughs> to say this in Britain? What do I, and here's a sample. This. Okay, here's a sample. And now what we're going to do is you're going to play... Now, I know you're not a her but you're going to play one. Yeah, Danny. on TV. This is, called, this, is called, this is called acting, okay? Acting. Right, means right, we don't, I, I'm, not going to, I'm not going to try and have you cancelled because we didn't get a cisgendered her to play this part. Yeah. I did you know, insist that, you know, we're not going to do that. We're just, so I'm going, to play, uh, I'm going to play the part of... Uh, you, can, you can also play her friend. Okay. An obstacle. I'll do a different voice. And I, I will play wingman and me. <laughs> wingman so that was the sequel to with now and i uh, as well the uh, so wingman approaches the woman <laughs> uh, wingman yeah <laughs> don't don't otherwise i'm, I'm sorry. wingman he- he- hello this won't take very long. That's not, don't open with that don't open with this won't take very long you don't want to put that fucking idea in her head you know you don't want to think in things like hello this won't take very it sounds like he's selling her something right like hello madam can i stop you for a minute like can, can i talk to news? you are you interested in selling your house yes <laughs> have, you, have you have you thought about have you got ppe have you thought about you know you've been sold ppe uh, hello this won't take long but me and my friend uh was me and my friend was just walk were just walking by and he could and he couldn't help but notice you. He is a bit shy, so he wa- he wanted me to come over to introduce you to him. Uh, the old, my friend oh. thinks you're cute. Uh, so I'm her no, no, no. and I say... Y- y- your line, your line. Yeah. I know. Oh, um, okay, I guess. This won't take too long. No, that's a We're going line, somewhere, you know. <laughs> that, that... <laughs> that was the two voices. This won't take like too long. We're going somewhere. Yeah. I, I walk over... I walk over with a confidence. I, I was. It was like being in a room with Peter Sellers. I understand. I couldn't tell you. Like you know, it was amazing. Mm-hmm. It was. Um, <laughs> I, I walk over with a confident smile. Like basically, I, I am in my electrifying eight hundred dollar shirt and um, wingman. Yeah. As you can see, as I'm walking towards her, as you can see, he is very shy in a sarcastic tone. That you don't say in a sarcastic tone. You say it like, as you can see, he's very shy, you know. And he, as I'm strutting over there and uh, doing cartwheels, okay, me. So this is, this is now me, whoever he is, whoever wrote this. I don't know why he put me, but like, yes, yes, I am very shy. I hope <laughs> you are not shy. Hmm. I was walking Ooh. by. With my friend here, and I just couldn't help but notice you. You're just repeating everything he says. <laughs> like, what is you could have? St- I like your energy, in a genuine, confident tone. With a- oh no, I like your energy. Any man, anyone who talks about energy, or f- like, oh, like, I oh, know, oh, we've got an energy. There's a thing. There's a frequency friction. Yeah, between- man. We're on, we're on I'm a really wave. Digging your vibe, yeah. bro. Okay, so, so I like your energy. Uh, the wingman says, okay, what he really meant to say was, what's your number? Because I'm... You know, it's neither of them have actually said, my name is, what's your name? Like, none of them have asked. Like, they're asking for a number. Like, I'm interested in getting to know you. Have a ask her what her fucking name is first. Because So now I'm supposed to giggle. Her... I've been actually giggling the whole time, so I'm going to do a fake one. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's it. Yeah. And uh, me... Oh, crap, with two Ps for some reason. Oh, crap, now you got me. Me me and my oh, friend crap, really need to go, and we know you're busy. 
So give, we don't we don't know she's busy. How can we know she's busy? What is your fucking name? Uh, uh, so give so give me your number, and I'll give you a call when I'm free sometime. That's the that's the entire skit, right? That's what you've got to do. Um, that is, uh, you know, their that knickers totally fall hurts. off, right? <laughs> yeah. I um, mean, she was cancelling. Yeah, you know, you know, that was so fucking. I mean, that was. You couldn't pull a fucking rotten tooth out of a dead horse's head with that fucking. <laughs> with that routine. You know, uh, I, I would give him a solid see, it, uh, no thanks and walk away with that one. Yeah. You could give you could give him a number, not yours, but I mean, just give him. Be like, mm, give, give him anything. I mean, seventeen. You know, just get him to get the fuck away. Seventeen you know, is the that, number I mean, that I've chosen. Mm. Yeah, seventeen. Yeah, that's, that's that's probably the name. That's probably his last girlfriend. True. It was seven, yeah. A- actually, it's hebophilia. <laughs> um, because you know he's a libertarian. They must be. It's um, all libertarians. Is it all hebophiles are libertarians? No True. one ever. Yeah. Has, yep. has anyone ever used the term hebophilia unless they're a libertarian? Like hebophilia. <laughs> hebophilia. Oh, okay. I was gonna say that's like the yeah. bleeding thing. Hebophilia is like like pedoph- people always use, use pedophilia when someone's just like a day under the age of eighteen, but like it's actually like pedophilia right. is like age because they need a separate down. they need a separate label and so they don't feel so bad about themselves. Like pubescent adolescents, like thirty four, there that's hebophilia. That's hebophilia, right? That's what it is. <laughs> and, and and if you ever call, and and the thing is like the, the, the trope is whenever. You, Whenever you refer, whenever you refer to, whenever you're talking about a guy who's had sex with like someone who's 14, 15, you call him a pedophile. A right. libertarian will come along. Actually, it's right. a hebophile. Exactly. Like, they're just giving themselves away. Also, Actually, I hate taxes. <laughs> taxes are bad, but pedophiles are totally yeah. okay. No, no, it's just you know they, they, the the law they they're against. They don't want you being told uh, what to do. You know because um. <laughs> Like, like Matt Gates is a, for example, Matt Gates is a hebophilia. Mm. Use that in a sentence. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, as as you can see in that simple interval of about two minutes, that would not take two fucking minutes. Uh, <laughs> I would be able to approach through the use of a wingman, deal with the obstacle before she could put up any sort of objection, and close she did the put deal. Up an no, that was you. This was a fantasy in your what? head, mate. This conversation... I will fucking bet my bollocks to a barn dance that this none of this ever even fucking happened. <laughs> in, you know, in, in, this guy is the captain of fucking... the shower debate team. Yeah, this is uh, this is this, this is a certain level of, fan- of uh, a bit of a fantasy here. Deal with it. Uh, whilst coming off as being comf- a confident guy who wasn't really shy, but just <laughs> pretended to be. Yeah. You're a bit of a tosser, I think, is what you came with. No. Women love it when anyway, you pretend but, to be things that you're not. Trust me. Now what you need is a geezer who's so interested in you that he doesn't even ask you what your name is. Like, he doesn't like the whole nothing. time. He doesn't. He said nothing about the. About, well, he, how can he, I he contact you, know, strange person? Yeah. All he did was talk in a sarcastic tone with a <laughs> smile on his face, like he's, you know, there's some smug grin. Anyway, um, but. What if I'm alone and don't have a wingman? Well, it's a bit harder, but uh, but it can be done. But that is more advanced, and you really shouldn't try it until you have really good... Wait, I can't... Poss- I, can- I have to go out with a mate holding me hands on the pool. Dave, are you, you going to come with me? I can't do it on my own. I haven't got in a game yet, Dave. <laughs> Please, no. Like- well, practice your inner game. <laughs> you know, yeah, my inner, inner game, game is... I, I, um, it's like a pink. How can it thing? not be easy? How, how can it be easier to do this with another person and rehearse that fucking mm. Albert and Costello routine that they fucking just did with Imagine each other? Imagine one of your where, friends where is... coming up and being like, "Now listen, we're gonna do this whole skit mm. so that I can get random people's numbers." Yeah. Your job is to... who's on. Who, who's on? You go up to her. You say, "What's a worm do?" And she'll say, "What's what's a what?" Do you say, "Do you want a worm do?" Like, what's a worm do? Oh, it mm-hmm. wriggles across the ground like that. Mm-hmm. Bang! Wriggles. Right in there. There you go. Right now. Yeah, and then you should we do the bofa? No, don't do bofa. Don't do bofa. No, no, we, we can't do the bofa joke. Anyway, chapter two. This is this chapter is called destroying alpha males, other guys, or amog. Amog, as he calls it. Amog. Why do they always make Amog. stupid acronyms? 
because they're cunts. Who, yeah, Amog, who try to ruin your game, or Amogging. Amogus. <laughs> is the pro- the problem is with these is like it's all well and good having all these acronyms, but they're the only cunts that know them. Nobody else uses them. Yeah, exactly. So if I could use Amogging, no one's gonna fucking no one's gonna know what the fucking hell I'm talking about. So, you know. Here's a great ex- here's a great sample. Here's a great sample Amog routine from Revelation. What the Bible, or the, is that the name of the book that this comes from? <laughs> um, run by Mystery Matador best, and Love Drop. Right, Mystery Matador, Mystery Matador and Love Drop. These are the people we're taking advice what? from now. Mystery, right? Myst- well, the, 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 this is from a forum from the website. Um, that he runs. Those presumably. are their names. Okay. And one of the guys, one of the guys is called Love Drop. Right. <laughs> um, uh, I included Love this Drop. sample for the guys interested in taking on their pro uh, in taking on their program. I am not paying three geezers called Mystery Matador and Love Drop for anything. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Love Drop sounds like something. It sounds like a sort of weird. Gay euphemism that you call that you call it's, his, it's sorry, gay girl called his boyfriend. Oh, love drop. Hello, love drop. How are you? Hello, mm-hmm. you know, so. Okay, I guess it could be cute. Or some sort like of a name. Or if you've got some kind of urinary infection, what's wrong? Oh, I've got <laughs> love drops, mate. The love drops are fucking. Anyway, when a guy is keeps pestering fluid? you and try, is it gender fluid? I is don't it think it matters. It? I, think, I think that's a fucking conversation that someone someone else can have another day. <laughs> it is not one I want to die knowing I wasted my life on. Um, when a guy keeps pestering you and tries to ruin your game, do this. So, so the first time he tries to put you off by saying an insult, you be the Amog. I'm the you. Amog. So, hey, yeah, so you, you, your hat so, looks gay. My hat looks gay, right? Mm-hmm. Um, hey, thanks. I like your hair too. <laughs> don't pretend to be ple. Don't pretend. Don't be phased by what he says and pretend it's a compliment. Hopefully, this will get him off your back. <laughs> Number two, the second time he tries to put, but the second time he tries to put you off by saying an insult. Hey, did you hear me? Your hat. You are hat looks gay. <laughs> Hey, that's cool. That's cool, dude. Again, don't be phased by what he says and pretend. This is only useful if a guy accuses me of having a gay hat and I don't even own a hat. So I've got to go out and buy a fucking hat that it's looks gay just to, to try and pro- just to try and provoke some fucking geese. Am I just going to put a, one of those a strap on helmets <laughs> over my head? Like, it's like, it's like I'm, okay. Hey, that's cool, dude. If you respond like this. In a calm way, generally the others back down. Uh, third, third time he tries to pull. Third time he <laughs> tries to put you off. Yeah, like how do you make a hat look gay? Like, I don't know. Anyway, your line. Third time he tries oh, to I'm pull so you sorry. off. Put you uh, off. <laughs> yeah. I lost me for a second there. Scene, hey, scene, fucker. start again. Oh God! <laughs> Hold on. Number three. Start at three. Yeah. <laughs> hey, fucker, you are hat. Looks gay, you fuck. <laughs> you mumble something really quickly. <laughs> Cock sucking makes you <laughs> dead. <laughs> uh, makes, make, make, make sure you mumble this real. Oh, God, I know what you're doing here, mate. I don't need, I know to mumble it really quickly. You know, aim. So, so I mumbled, uh, Cock sucking makes you deaf really quickly. Your line. <laughs> Uh, hey, wait, hold on. Did you do the mumble? What? Yes, I said cocks like it makes you gay. Oh, I didn't hear it. Cocks okay. like it makes you deaf. Sorry, not What did you say? <laughs> yeah, cocks like it makes you deaf. What did you say? What did you say? He genuinely shouldn't be able to hear. He genuinely shouldn't be able to have to <laughs> what you had to say as you mumbled on purpose. Right, you mumble something really quickly. Cocks like it makes you deaf. What did you say? Amok. <laughs> He, he he really can't hear you because what? you kept mumbling. You... Oh fucking hell! Oh, stop with the director's commentary. Me this time, you want to shut him down and destroy him in a low in, in a load in a low and not a load and slow voice in a low and slow stir, but stern voice. <laughs> say, cock sucking makes you deaf. <laughs> That's it. So from this chapter, 
what we've learned is that it's bad to be gay, uh, apparently. No, no, he, no, no, because in all fairness, he's not gay. It's the other geezer. It's the other, it's the Amog. The bad The guy. Amogs are gay. Bad guys it's the are Amog. Gay. I'm not yes, gay. It's the, it's, I like ladies. It, <laughs> it's, the, it's the Amogs. <laughs> it's the, it sounds like some weird Pack fucking... Cock-sucking doesn't like always make the... you gay. No, well, no, he's cock-sucking is only you gay if you're a guy and you're sucking a he's guy's not saying, dick. He's not saying... See, you didn't even listen. You didn't even listen. It's cock-sucking makes you deaf is the joke. Because you keep saying... Oh, it makes you it. deaf. Yeah, that's also incredibly cock-sucking, not... Cock-sucking, literally... I mean, between you're those two... You're doing it wrong if it's deaf. making you deaf. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, that went well. I think we can all agree. That was as smooth as a, as a gravel sandwich. Right, oh, so yeah. next chapter. A, sa- a sample cold reading script. Now, cold reading, as we know, is that bullshit that fucking psychics do. <laughs> um, for guys out there who are interested in coming across as mysterious, fun, and entertaining, like a mind reader, I, did, <laughs> I, I would not want a fucking date a mind reader. That would just put me... Yeah, no thanks. Like, like Darren Brown, all that, he's it. Darren Brown's entertaining, but I wouldn't want to know the cunt because I know whatever I did, he'd be fucking <laughs> reading it and, you know, knowing, trying to know him what I was thinking. It would wind me up. Like a mind reader. Here's a sample <laughs> script for you. Make sure you do this when you have no interruptions so you can fully immerse her consciousness in this routine. Like, uh, what am I supposed to do? Walk up in a nightclub going, oi, you turn this down, mate. Oi, darling. Right. <laughs> like... <laughs> oi, sweet. L- love, here, yeah. Some of your aspirations tend to be pretty unrealistic. At times, you are extroverted, affable, sociable. She's going to have fucked off by now at this point, uh, but I'm going <laughs> to follow her. Right. While at other times, you are introverted, wary and reserved. You have found it unwise to be too frank in revealing yourself to others. You pride yourself on being an independent thinker and do not ex- accept others' opinions without satisfactory proof. You prefer a certain amount of change and variety. You're literally meant to say all this to a woman out of the blue, right? This is like you meant to walk up to her. <laughs> At times, you have serious doubts as to whether you have made the right decision or done the right thing. Yes, ever since you fucking showed up in her life, mate, and started disciplined and controlled on the outside, you tend to be worrisome and insecure on the inside. Now, apparently, that works on everyone. This right. guy just it doesn't matter some who you... random horoscope to this woman. You, what he's done, that this will work, and I believe him because I think whoever you say this to, they will fucking tell, they will tell you to piss off, right? Or they'll throw something at you and they'll walk away. Like who are you? Sample two. This one, yeah. Sample two. This one's a bit shorter. Um, your sexual adjustment has presented some problems for you. Wait, what? That should your sexual adjustment. What are you? Adjusting, what? What does that mean? Well, well, let's find out. While you have some personality weaknesses, you are, oh, let's just charm her knickers off with this fucking <laughs> thing, isn't it? By the way, you, by the way, you're fat too. Can I tell oh, you that for one? Two right, right now? And I can and I can smell your snatch from downstairs. <laughs> right? <It's> just, yeah. <laughs> what? While you have some personality weaknesses, you are genuine, generally able to compensate for them. Right, so you're a bit wow. boring, but that's okay because you've got fantastic knockers. <laughs> um, you have a great de- you have a great deal of unused capacity, which you have not turned to your advantage. <laughs> you have a tendency to be yeah. You have a tendency to be critical of yourself. Why bother? <laughs> you're in her life now. You can fucking do it, mate. Like, what is the no? She's a, she doesn't need to slag herself off ever again. She's got you here to fucking sit here and destroy every ounce of self confidence she ever fucking had. Dickhole. You have a strong need. You have a strong need for other people to like you and for them for them to admire you. Right, These that are was it. literally That's just the... random horoscopes. Yeah, I, and I don't think that they would work. No. I think if I went up to a woman and say, I think if I went up to a woman and just told her off the top, look, you know. You know, you're a bit of a, you're, you know, you're, you're wasting your potential. You're yeah. wasting your life. You know, 
you can blag your way through it because you you know. Ooh, tell me more about great... myself, stranger. Yes, he's like, oh please, oh please, give me so tell me tell me about how the cellulite is, is on me <laughs> on me ass is reflecting off in the spot in the in the lights in the club. Also, you know, right. do, do, do it all. Talk about me stretch. Talk about me stretch marks and me varicose <laughs> veins while you're at it. Let's have a little. Okay, the next chapter. Ten openers that display confidence. Oh boy. And this is a great this I love this. This is like this this is just such bullshit era. Ten openers. Number one, my intuition tells me fill in the blank. No, no you fill in the blank, mate. I'm not would you look at the, it's just put my intuition tells my me intuition I'm supposed tells to me, just uh... say something. Like the whole point of this, uh, my intuition tell well well I mean fill in the blank examples include you're the leader of your friends. Why is that? Like <laughs> <laughs> the leader of your friends. You're the leader, you're the leader. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I feel you are my intuition tells me you are the Christ, you're the great Jesus Christ. Oh, <laughs> Show to me that you're divine. I'll turn my water into wine. Oh, the, 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 are you my going to... Tells the, number two. Me. Yeah, intuition. If you had intuition, if you could rely on intuition, you wouldn't be reading this fucking nonsense in the first place. <laughs> number two. Are you going to stare at me all night or are you going to say something? <laughs> only use this if a girl only use this if a girl has been looking at you and be oh, sure yeah. to say it with a smile. So you've got to spend the night running around trying to get in her eyesight <laughs> oh, in a field of vision. <laughs> Make sure she looks at you, otherwise you'll sound really crazy. You've got to hang around in front of you like you know that you know that when people put a GoPro on their helmet and have it facing them. That's got to be you, like everywhere you fucking you go. You come in and you're, you're like, I need. <laughs> I need the biggest possible obnoxious hat because then whatever you do as well, they'll all look yeah, at me. Yeah, don't, also, don't pick a woman who's got like a nervous tick because you'll be jumping around all over the fucking place. You know, <laughs> or and don't and don't definitely don't pick a woman who's boss eyed, who's got like one, you know, who's got who's got one of those eyes that goes. Yeah, you're the wrong trying way. to catch their eye, but you know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> or one that's blind. That would be you know. Yeah, you, might you can't catch any of their eyes. The odds are quite small, but you got to be fucking careful. Anyway, and then uh, you know, th cock sucking makes you deaf. So there's there goes a whole cock sucking group of makes people. you deaf exactly. You know, and, um... <laughs> <laughs> Can we make that a shirt? Test, test, <laughs> cock sucking makes cock you sucking deaf. Makes you, but testicles before everything. Right? Testicles okay, before anything. Yeah. You number three. You have an interesting vibe. Think of a number between one and... This is, this is not... You don't say this bit. Think of a number between one and ten. Don't tell me what it is yet. Okay, it's X. You'll need a device called a swami gimmick. Oh, for fuck's sake! A device? Sake. Like, to, to do this, but buy buy one and learn how to... I'm not buying a fucking magic trick and walking around a bar. But say, give me a... Like, if not, I might as well go up to and do that thing with yeah. your arm. Where I go, oh, look, woo! He's going to pull out a deck know. of cards. I've got, got your nose. <laughs> Everybody loves magicians. You have an interesting vibe. It, interest, <laughs> you have an interesting vibe. She got a vibe. You don't sing that. Yeah. Um. <laughs> like, uh. Yeah. Uh. Number four. Give her a relaxed smile. Reach out slowly and touch her hair. Ew. Um, <laughs> then say. And then say, very nice, is it real? <laughs> what do you mean, is it real? <laughs> uh, uh, I would, I would say what? maybe only do that to white women and also don't do it to anyone. What is it? Uh, how about this? How about what are you doing? Oh. Yeah, don't go up to, don't go, if you, if you see a, if you see an African American woman there, she's got a big, throat. Yeah. don't go up to her and start patting it down. I'm touching and going, it. Oh, it's just, it's just like one. It's just like wool, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> Give her. Is it real? Well, I tell you what it is, mate. It's none of your what? fucking business. Is what it is. Line. It's I an ad off my ear. 
Yeah. Every time I wear a um, wig and someone f- asks me if it's real, uh, I just I fuck them immediately yeah. on the spot. Yeah, so, <laughs> no, this is a great. This is a great one. This I, think, I I don't even know what to say about this. One. Number five. Have you ever seen a ghost? I mean, yes, I'm, I'm currently talking to the fucking re- resurrected soul of a man with no personality. But then he says, "This is great for strippers." That's I'm, I'm the like, part that what I the don't hell? Understand. Why is that a great line for the strip? The strippers, strippers are have, like a, statistically sort of more a, likely to be haunted a, or something. Is there, a, is there a statistical co- is there a positive correlation between being a stripper and seeing ghosts? Like, I don't understand. I genuinely don't know where he's coming from stri- with this. Strippers, strippers love that. Have you ever seen? A, do you know why, mate? <laughs> because strippers will love strippers will love any comp, any question you ask them because they're being paid to be nice That's to you. Their whole they're fucking thing. strippers. <laughs> Yeah, whatever you say, you could please. You okay, could, get the fuck out. <laughs> you could sit there and literally ask anything. You could say, so what did you think about the uh, Mein Kampf? Yeah, and they'll, they'll make something up, you know, they'll just say, they'll say something. It's, like, um, I feel like it, a person at a bar would be more receptive to talk about ghosts than the stripper. But also, some people don't want to know people. I don't want to, you know, I, I don't, you know, people who believe in ghosts, I might not be, I might think, oh God, you know, do I want to fucking, you know, I, I might not be interested in that, in that you know. Um, He's like, girl, then, do, then he, then he, uh, then, do you know about ghosts? Because I'm going to ghost you. Yeah. 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 I mean, you wouldn't say that, would you? That's terrible. That is, you know. Um, no, that's that's just the truth. <laughs> uh, yeah. Also, have you ever seen, maybe he means the film Ghost. Like with have Patrick you ever Swayze. seen Ghost? Or, yeah. Or maybe he means Ghost Dad with Bill Cosby. Mm. Or... <laughs> or Casper. Have you ever seen? Have you ever seen a ghost? No, but if I did it, I have a better chance. With I me like than that you it's have. on the There's top no... ten. Like of yeah, all the that, ten number... good oh. things to say to someone, one is do a magic trick, and the other one yeah. is do, do you these ever seen display, a ghost? These are remember these are to display. Comp- now, for some reason, number six to ten have no side notes. These right. are just straight lines. So. Either that, or he could not be asked to type this out. Okay, um, <clears throat> number six. Wow, wow! I can see you work out now and then. <laughs> Fucking hell! You gotta get the little mean now jab and, in I there. Can, I can see you work out now and then, you chubby bitch. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Women love it when you insult them underhandedly. I tell you what. Come back to my place, and I'll make you. I'll give you a pie. <laughs> yeah, you can have. <laughs> I can see you go to the gym now and then. Really? What a dick move. I can see that you're going to spend tonight jacking off into the fucking kettle again, <laughs> mate. That's what you're going to be. Number seven. Ah, oh, you are so cute, I want to adopt you. Okay, that's just fucking no. Mm. But unless you're Woody Allen. That does not fucking mm. no. That does not work. You want to fun. adopt you. Yeah, that's what you want in a relationship, isn't it? Yeah. Hey. Yeah, this hey, is Hey uh, girl, is want. I want to be your number parent. Eight, you look like... <laughs> Hi, I want to be your I want to be your legally recognized guardian, but also bang you. Right? I mean Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want to be your guardian, girl. Listen, yeah. yeah. Listen, it doesn't it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, I want to be able to the also I want to adopt you. It's like She's like, I'm 37 years old, you cunt. I'm like, like what would you get? Like, it's like, it's, so it's, am so I a like, child or am I a dog? Because either way, don't fuck Exactly. That. No one knows. That's, that's that's why it's new and exciting. That's yes. why it's, uh, and, uh, don't worry. As soon as I've got my Batman cape on, uh, it doesn't really matter. Um, <laughs> number number eight, you look like you're hiding something. Yeah, you <laughs> only, I've only just met, I've never met you before in my life, mate. I'm literally you hiding like everything at this fucking state. <laughs> Does that mean she's looking like she's got something up her ass? Is what you say? I there. guess. What the fuck? You look like you're hiding something. You look like you're you look like you're <laughs> hiding something. Yeah. Who, who are you? you? Fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll be hiding your fucking bollocks in a fucking field after I've you know if, if, if you know, fucking mouth off at me one more time, something. But no, you look like you're hiding something. But <laughs> I just want to physically. Met- yeah, metaphor- it's my taser. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> you, you, you look like you're hiding something. Is it V? You know, is it a uh, VD? Is it gonorrhea? What is it? 
What You're drinking you cranberry hiding? juice. Ah, urinary tract infection. Oh, yeah, you've got a secret. Um, yeah. Number n- I feel sorry for people who actually like cranberry juice because that if they got the worst fucking <laughs> bit of like natural, mo- they got the worst it's bit. No one mixer. can drink cranberry juice. In- yeah, but no one can drink it because immediately they're just like a bloke will look at it and go, oh no, <laughs> she's got she's drinking cranberry juice, mate. Right, so- oh no. <laughs> Num- number nine. Won't you get too aroused if I sit this close? <laughs> no. That would get a me. burst of laughter if it was tried on no. me. I would I would not won't be you... able to not laugh See, out loud in their you face. Said, you said that in a certain way. You could like and she, it would make you laugh and it would be a good opener because you're clearly being stupid. Right. You know. But if you're serious, but I'm just you, like, wow, fuck you. Like, <laughs> are you sure you won't? Are you sure you won't slide off your chair if I get too close, darling? I can literally, I can hear the waves breaking in your fanny right now. <laughs> She's just like moving to the other side of the room. <laughs> she gets up and he starts going, <laughs> walking. Oh yeah. Does this do it for you? Number ten. Number 10, I mean, I've, I, mean I'm sure, I hope you're all, you know, I mean, if you're listening to this and you're trying these out, you know, oh my God. you should be, I you should be balls deep in something. Yeah, you should be up to your nuts and guts at this stage. <laughs> um, so if none of these were Number 10. Oh, this is a great one. The voices in my head told me to come and talk to you. Top 10. <laughs> Top 10 best things to say <laughs> to a girl. <laughs> number 10, I'm a, I'm a nutter. So wow. let me get this straight. Like, you go, pretend to you have don't dissociative find me identity disorder because then yeah, also, or maybe also what you're saying is, or something. Because that'll What you're saying is you don't find you don't find me attractive. The fucking bonkers mental voices in your head that you that they do. Like that I you just, didn't fucking There's so many levels to why this is a terrible thing to just What yeah, how about this? How about the voice the voices in my the, head the, the voice like, in your head told you to come over. Yeah. Well, this is my voice. This is the one voice coming out of my head. Could you fuck off back there? Or could yeah. I talk to him possibly? Is it I literally, like, not the one of these is good. There's literally not a good mm. one. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, if I had to pick a best one, I, uh, I would go. Oh, God. Dude, it's hard. It's like. Mm, it is. I mean, it's like. They're, I mean, they're all. And to be fair, you'd think you'd get one right. Right. By... It's like they're all competing for the worst opener. Yeah. I mean, like you think, you know. I mean, oh God, give her her relaxed smile. Reach out slowly and touch her. Head. Yeah. I think the um. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but just, but then just, asking just, if it's just real. Like, just grab, grab, Just like get her. Like get her. Like. Oh, those are nice leather shoes. This is beautiful. Is what is that velvet? <laughs> oh, it's good. <laughs> it's amazing. Oh, oh, I like your wonderful. boobs. Are anyway. they real? Gently reaches mm-hmm. out. Yeah. <laughs> this one's great for strippers. Do you know what? Do you know what? If it wasn't hope? for the <laughs> yeah, I tell, let me tell you. Let me t- let me tell you something, darling. If it wasn't for the Me Too movement, I would have been on you like shit on Velcro right now. Ugh. You would have been like, you know, <laughs> shit on Velcro. Well, I look. I looked at you and I saw a fucking Netflix fight, a five episode Netflix series about oh, me. <laughs> like the, this the... is for the adopting one. <laughs> yeah. That's the. It's called the Woody Allen. That I one, can't yeah. believe um, that there's more of this. The, 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 so the next chapter, more. forbidden. The for. Yeah, well, no, there's there's two more pages. The forbidden pattern, <laughs> Gemini. Okay, I've no idea. Oh. The forbidden pattern. This is so. That's the stuff they're allowed to do. This is the forbidden shit. Um, for the guys out there who have heard of the forbidden patterns, okay. I don't know why he's putting quotes there because that would suggest to. Here's one of. They're them. not really forbidden. The, they're just the, called that. Yeah, the forbidden pattern <laughs> have patterns have that title because if you do it correctly, you anchor yourself with the emotions of the girl. <laughs> that makes no sense whatsoever. <laughs> it should what be called the, the forbidden fuck? patterns because they're in because they form patterns that are not bidden, that are forbidden. You know, like. <laughs> 
That make you, it, uh, it should be called the forbidden pattern because it involves you in some way moving in the, in the shape of a swastika. Or right. Like, or, um... Right. Like which shapes are we not, which pattern is not a good, I yeah. don't know, like plaid, plaid's not if, if it's, if, what Based on what he described, you anchor, you anchor yourself with the emotion. Well, it should be called dropping the anchor, <laughs> should it not? Or like, you know. You anchor yourself the Popeye with the, the sailor man. of the girl. This was created by Ross Jeffries. No, not Ross Jeff, not the Ross Jeffries. <laughs> I don't know who Ross Jeffries. That it, someone whose name's someone who's got te, intensity, <laughs> intense, intense. In, I couldn't work <laughs> out. It, it, it said I N one zero S E, and I didn't know in what that was. In so Yeah, I thought, I thought it said in Lucy. In Lucy. This is a hold on. This was created by Ross Jeffries, Intense or Swing Cat. I don't know. <laughs> what do you mean? I don't know. So, <laughs> One of these. I don't, I don't know who any. Of, I have no idea who any of these cunts are. So just put any name. It doesn't matter. I don't care who's done it. Swing. What am I going to do? Ring up the you know Sue Swing Cat. Who the fuck Swing Cat? You know. <laughs> <laughs> Swinging and cat. Yeah, I don't know, but the origin origins lie there somewhere. Well, the origin there you go. That's life, isn't there it? Are, so the origin has the origins of everything. Ultimately, will always be found between Ross Jeffries, Intense, and Swing Cat. Um, <laughs> to do this correctly, well, that would be good, helpful. Yes, uh, to do this correctly, you need some understanding of neuro linguistic programming. Okay, that's what that means. Is like it, that's horseshit fucking language for like. <laughs> Uh, subliminal as opposed to the brother neuro linguistic programming yes E-N-O-P. yeah that would be well no i've got new i've got i've got neuro neuropathy it's not um i've got yeah i've got neuropathy uh lap uh, ling, it's not linguistic uh i've got i've got neuropathy limb it limb uh, uh in my limb limb based um per, per, in my limb peripherals that's it yeah um but that's nlp yeah i they have to make an acronym out of it, the NLP. The um, not a loser as party. It, a, you have a, you have to have an understanding of neuro linguistic programming, as it essential is as it is essentially <coughs> using elements of NLP to get into the consciousness of the other person and put yourself in there permanently. They're like right. incepting the feelings of girls. Yeah, but I, I don't want to be inside someone's culture. I get claustrophobic. I don't <laughs> like these fucking... You know, beware beware of the side of effects. Yeah. The side of... Okay. Um, number one. Establish rapport. Rapapore. Establish rapapore. Michael Rapapore. Rapapore. Mm-hmm. Um, rapapore. Establish... Rap- yeah, establish rapport. Get, get her in a trance. <laughs> yes. Do as you are bid. You cannot help yourself. You are very horny. <laughs> come back to <laughs> come back to my place because we're going to have it all. Ooh, you find me very, you're, you're, very you're, sexy. You're, you're, you're you, no, you're not a lesbian. Come back, I'll cure you. Come on. <laughs> Number two. But, but it's, I'm sorry, but since when was hypnotizing someone and putting them in a trance, establishing a rapport <laughs> with someone, establishing a rapport? So this I said, like, you know, <laughs> "Am I supposed to walk in there with like a big twiddly moustache and a cape? Am I supposed? To, I'm, like, I'm supposed to like do that little creepy walk, and like, I've, got, I've got a watch on a fucking chain. Oh my god, this is! Oh, I have to have some of those glasses with the swirly bit going. Like, Ooh, <laughs> yes, give me your pin numbers." And uh, can I, can bring, number two, bring up the subjection. Right, talk about something. I think bring, bring up, up the, the subjection. subjection. <laughs> ask, do you ask? Do you think men really understand women? Well, the fact you're asking her would suggest no, mate. But um, her answer will always be no. Reply: Yeah, I totally agree with you. <laughs> Most men don't. But be- but because I've had so many female friends, I think I'm beginning to develop an understanding of women. I'm basically a homosexual. You might as well just keep just say that while you. I ha- yeah yeah I totally yeah yeah yeah. Oh, yeah right, I totally, right. totally, if she says totally yes, totally. I do. Say yeah, right. I wrote on. a whole book about it, it actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
What do you? Yeah. What do you? It's like it's one of these. Oh, this is my favorite song. I don't like it. Yeah, neither do I. It's crap, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> describe the worst number hip three hip ever. Number three. And this is still. This is still. This is meant to be you. So you've put her in a trance. So she's now hypnotized, right? Mm-hmm. And and now you've Step established one. that she doesn't. She, men don't understand women, but you agree with her because you've got loads of female friends. Um, because you're basically a loser. Number three, describe the two types of women to her. Say, I think there are two types of women. One type is the one that society conditions. Then in a then in a bad tone, list out the rules of girls, e.g. they don't spread don't spread your legs open. This is the first fucking thing you're telling her. Like basically I don't think you're a whore. I think there are two types of women. There are slags and then you. <laughs> Right, and <laughs> he says so that he can fuck her. Like, but what? he doesn't say like there are two types of. He says two types of women, but he doesn't. Oh no, he does say number four. He says the same. Help mm. her describe where she wants to go. The natural woman. You make me feel. This is not what she had in mind when she sung that song. Like a natural woman, yeah. The second type mm-hmm. is the one that is real. And natural. Yes, but what, 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 why is the first one not? What, because you sleep around it? Fake women have sex. Yeah. The second type is the real and natural. Where, uh, then, then, in a good and nice tone, <laughs> explain. Hey, baby. Hey. <laughs> yeah, in, in a Sean Connery voice going, hello, yes, sure. Uh, explain and describe all the wonderful things. Women where she truly has fun. And the one where she can just laugh like no one's watching. It's not laugh like no one's watching. Laughing in front of people isn't a fucking... Imp- it's... It's done. I've done. I've done comedy for... I've done stand-up comedy for 20 years. Trust me, people laugh in front of... No one's ever gone... You've never got an audience of people just going, oh, I don't want to... There's people here. I just... Uh, I just smile and... Uh, laugh like no one's watching. The one where she has the innermost desires and cravings. Well, that sounds like the first one, and you were having a go about her, at her, <laughs> where she can think she can think of things that she doesn't even want her best friend to know. Okay, at this point, start anchoring her. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> Am I literally fucking supposed to put like hold her down, like attach a weight to her, <laughs> handcuff her to a fucking? I'm gonna put a wheel clamp on her leg. Each you already time you got her hypnotized. You gotta lock her up too. Okay, this is this is how you do anchoring, and I think this guy does a lot of anchoring. Mm. He's a well known. He's a, he's one of the biggest anchors you can fucking find. Um, <laughs> each time you mention something positive, tap her on the arm and slowly move your hand up her arm as the intensity of the explanations becomes sexual. <laughs> <laughs> tap her when th- when they say when kids say. You know, did you tap that? They don't mean this. <laughs> See, I've been doing it wrong the whole time. Five. You this is a weird one. Like Put her in a safe finger, place. <laughs> Put her in a safe place. Like, like she's a fucking like she's a fucking vase or something. Put her somewhere safe. We don't want to fucking lose her. Play, pace, <laughs> uh, pace her need. Place her need for ongoing safety at this point. What do you mean ongoing safety? Who's a threat to her all of a sudden? What danger is she in? After describing the second type, say often what happens due to the pressures of society, a woman has to lock those parts away and keep them safe, and yet they are inside just waiting to emerge. Basically, there is a raging slag inside you, darling, (laughs) waiting to come out and go boing, and I am the man... For you to do it on. I want you to fucking grind on me until my pelvis has been shattered. Once you have... This is... Okay, number six. This is like... He's lost me on this one here. Um, Once you have established that place inside her mind, starting asking her questions about it, questions are designed to put you in that place so she can feel and awaken that place completely. Hmm. (laughs) Okay. You're right. Me? Yeah. I'm fine. You just give. Have you just given up? Like this. Like this. Like this one defeat. I just. I don't know what to say at this point. You're gonna put her in her her safe place. 
that no, is No, he's in emerge. her mind now. He's inside. Yeah. He's like Quato from <laughs> Recall going, open your mind. That would be so <laughs> cool. You undo your shirt and a little fucking fella's like there going, open your mind. You know, <laughs> you definitely, you know, you've got... You, now that's you, sexy. Yeah, I, I, if, I, if, I met, if, if I met a woman who had like a Quato hanging out, I'd be like, yeah, I'll go for that. It's, it's something interesting. <laughs> If I can't have the woman with three knockers, which are... Uh... I mean, it's your only chance, probably. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what, to have sex with someone who's got like a, a, a small dwarf growing out of their inside? Yeah, I think so, definitely. Um, <laughs> yeah. Pretty unlikely. Number seven. The two questions that I love to ask myself... Uh, who Who says that? But I love asking myself these questions. Oh wait, oh, oh, I know this one. This is brilliant. Ready? What is the capital? What is the world's northernmost capital city? Reykjavik, Iceland. Okay, brilliant. Yes, correct. A thousand points to you. Uh, question one: What is a what is it about the way that certain people affect us that causes us to think of this special person? Point to yourself each time and say this very slowly and clearly. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. It's like, what is it about this? I'm just fucking spitting him like with his fingers going, this. So he's supposed to say, hey, who's got two thumbs and he's trying to shag you? This guy. <laughs> like, <that's... laughs> Make sure to point at yourself because yes. women are. Point at yourself as well. opposed to, don't point at the guy next to you. <laughs> that'll put her off. Her, that'll put her on to him. And then you'd be like, oh, no, you know. It could be anything. Don't put it. Whatever you point at now, she's completely under your control. Whatever you point at, she will shag. If you point at the clock, she'll shag the clock. She'll just. So you must make be careful at this point. Only point at yourself. In that special place, to hear this voice, feel feel his presence. And <laughs> and see his face whilst you sit in that spot. Point to where she is sitting, like or your face would be another thing. <laughs> I would say, point, I'd say, point to your face or your crotch or something. He knows what's in that. Next. You might as well just be crotch chopping, going in that special place right there <laughs> on my fucking knob. Right right there. <laughs> I wonder. Let me into your special is, space. This is just—it's—it's it's, oh, it's, this is like Gilbert Godfrey's trying to be a hypnotist. It's like it's literally like it's like okay, now just turn it around. About the way. Now what I want you to do here is I want you to just relax, listen to the sound of my voice, and and imagine face riding me place. into oblivion. That's what I want you. To feel his presence. <laughs> you okay? To see his face while you're sitting at the top. You, you, you're Gilbert Godfrey. You sound like a... You just Point like, to where she's... Yeah, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> you sound... You yeah, sound, I can't... reminds me of something and I can't... I can't do his more, voice, can more. anyone? But, um, but it is... I just did it. That was a flaw. That was flawed. All right, Gilbert sure. Godfrey. Um, I don't think anyone would want to. I think that's the thing. It's like, can you imagine, like... Uh, <laughs> I'd love, I'd love for Gilbert Godfrey to just like do a sex chat line one night, just like have a time like someone rings up, he goes, oh, "Okay, so tell me how big your dick is." <laughs> didn't he? Uh, Would you didn't eat? He read ah. Fifty Shades of Grey. I'm pretty mm. sure. I'm pretty sure there's an audio book. Where it's Gilbert Godfrey oh, no. reading Fifty yeah, but you Shades. Don't, I don't want him reading Fifty Shades. But I, I want him to read something like The Great Gatsby. I have him read the Bible. That'd be hilarious. You know, <laughs> yes, beautiful. I, th I think like this is what annoyed me about Stephen Hawkins. He had that voice box. I mean, he could have had different voice settings. Imagine if him doing a Gilbert Godfrey. Yeah, okay, <laughs> the universe is expanding <laughs> <laughs> like a so horse vagina, like a, like. <laughs> Like, like your mum's ass when I stick my tongue in it. Ah! <laughs> he sounds like a gremlin. And, uh, he is kind of a gremlin. How much money do you think I could get for making an audio book where I just read the Bible word for word, except every time it says father, I say daddy? Um, you see, I don't think there's enough... Uh, 
market for that in, in you know, <laughs> that you, you know, I think if you just, you know, change the, I think if you just gave them all like funny accents, like just uh, make, mm. make, make them, like make them all come from like, you know, Birmingham mm. or whatever. And so, you know, then that'd be quite, that would be a good way to it. work on my impressions, apparently. I mean, <laughs> We've completely and utterly lost it. So, sorry, we were too busy talking about... We're so Gilbert close Gottfried. to the end of this goddamn thing. Yeah, we're so close to the end. Yeah, yeah, we're edging it now. This is called edging, <laughs> the, PD- edging the PDF. Um, it's important, you know? I, I just I don't want it to be I, won- I wonder what is so special about that person that no matter <laughs> how much they try to deny that desire to act, it takes on this life of its own compelling, vivid, real penis. <laughs> and the, um, it doesn't say penis, but... <laughs> what is it about that person, me, that makes the, vo- makes the voice inside your... Inside your say... Inside your what? Just the voice anyway. Inside um, your say, yes! The voice in... The voice in... Sur- <laughs> the, 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 the the voice inside your fucking kidneys say the voice inside your say the, the, vo- <laughs> the, vo- the vo- this the voices I can hear the voices I got voices. the voices inside my say told me to uh, talk to you <laughs> the voices in my clunge right, what is it about the what is it about that person me that makes mm-hmm. the voice inside your I'm saying head say yes uh, and, and emphasize head and make a sort of yeah. action with your hat fist and you t- your tongue right. into your cheek you go, this is yeah. the head. where your thoughts are or instead of saying head just just say just gag like just to make a the voice inside <laughs> your inside your butt <laughs> you <know? laughs> just say I want to cough I want to croak I want to gag I want to choke <laughs> I touch want to that touch little that dangly, little dangly thing, thing that hangs in right the, the back of your throat. throat. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> Socrates, I want to step <laughs> inside. I want to step, step into. I want to step into that special step into your gunge step <laughs> with with that special person. And ex- wait, you want to step into the special place with the special person? I thought you were the special person, mate. There's right. Another person. It's Gilbert Godfrey. Who are all these people in my special space? And explore anything that you can make real. Yes. <laughs> I want you so... I don't care, man. I don't care if I look inside your vagina and I can see Magic Johnson waving at me. I'm <laughs> going for... Um, the, um, right, and this is all in capitals. Right, now shut up and listen to what she has to say. Right, that's a... This, this is the, the first only good thing he's said so far. Taken to page 11. To get to this, right? E.G. <laughs> if E.G. like example of what she might say, because he knows this, because like, as we know, you lot are so fucking predictable. If she tells you about, if she tells you it's about energy or destiny or vouch or it's not <laughs> 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 or, or, or Bastiat or the or the, <laughs> other people on <laughs> other people. Mike from PA, other people on Twitch, um, or fate, then say yes, that is right, Debbie. Her name's Debbie. Do I have to say Debbie? Debbie. Or do I only say Do I only say Debbie? Make if sure that is you her call name? her Debbie. Yeah. Now, Debbie. Deb, Debbie. Listen, Debbie. Uh, listen, listen, <laughs> Debbie. My name. Listen, Debbie. My name's Nora. Shut the fuck up. It's Debbie. <laughs> It's about Listen, energy. Debbie, I'm trying to get it's into a, your special space, okay? It it's about energy, anchor, destiny, anchor, passion, anchor, etc. Don't say etc. <laughs> what was supposed to be etc. Anchor, and I. It's about destiny, passion, and etc. Now, <laughs> question two. What was the first question? I don't even fucking. No, I lost track Wait, of that. It went on for one. A, Oh, the, the but, first question was a run-on sentence. <laughs> yeah, it, the first question wasn't really a question. But first question two, the paragraph. other question, the other question I asked myself. But the thing is, he's saying I asked myself, but he's talking to her. 
right? Is what would you, what would it be like for a person to just right now, Anchor, feel, I'm not, I'm going to be doing this, like when I talk to someone, going, hi, Anchor. And like, what, what are you doing? <laughs> like, Anchor. Anchor. It's like, it's a bit <laughs> Be a great way to fuck. So why do you keep saying anchor? I'm not doing. I'm not, what are you talking about saying? Anchor? I like the parentheses voice being a little bit more subdued and quiet. Yeah. Anchor. <laughs> <laughs> the per- right now, anchor. <laughs> Feel all those hidden fantasies and desires to wake up hungrily alive, realizing that this is the main chance right here, right now back once again with the ill behaviour. A chance to move (laughs) in a new... A chance to... This is a trick from the fucking Louis Theroux um, (laughs) uh, hypnotist show. Move in a new direction. Nude erection. Right? He's literally stole that from... (laughs) He's trying to hypnotise her with fucking sex puns. We're going to move... We're going to move... We're going to move in a nude of direction towards Mike Mike Hunt over there. Toward a nude <laughs> direction. Yes. And, and, um, <laughs> points. Points to yourself. Um, um, in the, um, <laughs> um, it, it's not no, points to erection. Yeah, nude erection. Exactly. It's, it's, so she it's knows. Not, it's not enough to just ponder about nude erections. It's, it's, <laughs> and, and, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just keep thinking of that boy. I'm thinking of that boy band now. Just like it's. The, it's the, please welcome new direction. There we are. Erection. Yes. One <laughs> erection. And we danced all night on my nude erection, and we. <laughs> This is so pure. Oh, it's fantastic. Instead, you have to reach out. Reach out. Oh, reach out be there. And, <laughs> and grab, ho- grab hold of them. Grab hold of them. It's, it's, a, it's a Dusty Rhodes reach program. Grab, grab hold of them me. and take them all. All Take them all the way in. Join with them. <laughs> open open your piss flaps up. In the, in the so <laughs> So, so it penetrates you and makes them part of who you are, and I and then I pull out, and it all runs down your legs. That's this dude made himself come with this sentence. But I'm sorry, already. I'm sorry. You don't sort of sit there just with going like, "What I want you to do now is I, you know, I want you to, you know, think of you know, this, think of my, anyway, my, my." presence my aura my big fat throbbing girthy meaty you know meaty aura you know aura uh, and um, you got a thick vibration going on yes my big veiny you know dom- <laughs> dominate dominating <laughs> boner is the color of my energy look we need the end now we've got, we nearly got through it right give number eight give them a pattern so they can loop in their head and then just let it hit that one. So they can think of you all the time, even when you are not there. Well, I do you know what? I've got a funny feeling she's never going to forget this moment. I, regard, I don't need to... I don't need to sit and put anything in her... Make sure she's terrified she's going to see you again. What am I supposed to do? Just like... Just like just, Oh, have you gone again? Oh, I'm here. I'm just... <laughs> oh, you're here. Sorry. What did you say then? I don't even remember. Okay. My ADHD. Look, give her in. a pattern. Okay. You just go, uh, you know, uh, rhombus. Yeah. <laughs> Oblong. Okay. Be it's, it's yellow, yellow, blue. Yellow, blue. Yeah. Yellow, it's yellow, it's, blue. It doesn't say what, yellow, but, blue. Oh, give, her, give her a pattern. Uh, Colonel S. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> here, trace this. Oh, so you need to give her an experience of pleasure so that she loops that feeling so that pleasing you gives her that. But this is just such. Un- it's, it's not even trying. It's just like it just makes no sense. This bollock. I mean, at least have a go. Example. When they look at themselves in the mirror after you have sex, move up beside them and hold them and tell them. Yeah, like, like Dracula, like Gary Oldman in Dracula. Just like behind. 
in the bathroom mirror. Make just sure you go near her. the mirror so she sees that you don't yeah. have a reflection. Just, just, just uh, with, with like a big, big gown and a big, stupid, big gay haircut <laughs> like that, and, and about and uh, t- and tell them what you think about her experience. Yeah, tell her what she thinks. About <laughs> her. Oh man, that tell was amazing! Man, that, <laughs> that just doesn't that just doesn't that just doesn't that just prove that you know that it, it doesn't have to last long for it to be good. This guy I mean, understands yeah. women so well. I tell you, say what you want. I tell you what. One thing about that. One thing about sex with me, it's it's efficient. Right. Time saving, <laughs> time to do other things, and I love the fact that you orgasm so quietly. And uh, <laughs> it's uh, I could hardly even tell. I could hardly tell. <laughs> I, I hardly could tell. At one point, I could, have sworn, I could have sworn you were snoring. It was amazing. I fell for it instantly. I love practical jokes. Anyway, when you see when you see anchor, this means anchor. tap a place on her body. Oh, no. oh, why? I know. Why are you telling me that again? Otherwise, I've just sat here and go, why is he putting anchor in it? I know what anchor means. <laughs> but I, wish, I wish I didn't. I think he it's meant so- to have like a little asterisk or something, but I wish never I didn't did. know what anchor means, because now I know this, something useful that might have fucking been valued to me or I might have needed in my life has been pushed out of my fucking Anchor means you poke her with your finger. Yeah, yeah, poke, prodder. I think you just flick her on the ears. <laughs> 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 you know, just, or give her, a, or just you know, give her like a horse bite under the thigh, or just like a you know, jab her in the ribs, something like that. You know, just um, <laughs> poker, poker every time. Put her in a sleeper hold every time. <laughs> put her Tap in a her out until she passes out. Put her in the- <laughs> Tap her out every time that you, it makes her feel safe. <laughs> Just, just, just literally don't even do that. Just back, just pimp slap her back of the end. <laughs> just like women love it when you hurt them. Oh yeah. This way, you this way you link that emotion. That's it. This is literally not how stuff works. You you link mm-hmm. that emotion to your touch each time you say it. You can learn more about <laughs> hypnosis, forbidden patterns, and NLP by clicking here. The end. Dot com. Thank fucking Christ for that.